ضيوفنا الأعزاء يشرف أسبوع القاهرة للمياه في نسخة هذا العام بمشاركة كريمة من جمهورية المجر والتي تنشط بقوة في مجال قضايا البيئة والتغير المناخي حيث تتبنى مبادرة دولية تهدف بشكل رئيسي إلى التعجيل من تحقيق الهدف السادس من أهدفة التنمية المستدامة والمعني بقطاع المياه والاهتمام بوضع حلول مستدامة مع تبني سياسات رشيدة للتعامل مع قضايا المياه والمناخ تشاهدون الآن الكلمة المسجلة لفخامة السيد آدر يانوش رئيس جمهورية المجر وفخامته عضو مؤسس في منصة رواد المياه والمناخ وواحد من أهم الداعمين والمهتمين بقضايا المناخ والمياه والبيئة Ladies and gentlemen Benjamin Franklin said many, many years ago, when the wells dry, we know the worth of water. Unfortunately, we are increasingly seeing Benjamin Franklin's words proven right in different parts of the world. It is now commonly believed that while the 20th century was the century of oil, the 21st century is the century of water. Seeing the growing problems, we adopted the Sustainable Development Goals six years ago, hoping and resolving to achieve the turnaround needed for sustainable water management in 15 years. The sad fact is that in many ways we are further away from the goals today than we were when we adopted them. At conferences in recent years, we have talked a lot about the need to improve the efficiency of our water supply systems faster than our population is growing, and that one of the ways to increase the efficiency of our economic activity is to reduce the amount of water needed to produce a unit of value. We all know that we need water not only to supply our population, but modern agriculture and industry cannot do without sufficient amounts of quality water. Ladies and gentlemen, floods have ravaged many parts of the world this year. Because of climate change, we must be prepared for more and more record-breaking floods, which will cause huge in economic damage. Do we have the knowledge, experience and technology to protect ourselves against floods? Yes, we do. There are reports from other parts of the world of droughts on a scale not seen for decades, centuries. Do we have a drought monitoring system? Do we have methods to improve soil water balance? Do we have advanced irrigation systems that allow us to grow different crops using one-fifth to one-sixth the amount of water as elsewhere? Do we have the knowledge to breed drought-tolerant crops? The answer to all these questions is yes. Even today, in many countries around the world, 80% of the wastewater is discharged untreated into our lakes and rivers. This causes huge environmental damage and makes it difficult to meet the water needs of our population, agriculture and industry. Do we have the technology to treat industrial wastewater? Do we have technology that can treat domestic wastewater more efficiently, more quickly, and generate the energy to do it? Do we have a technology that can turn wastewater into drinking water? Do we have a technology that can treat industrial wastewater in such a way that 90% of it can be recycled? and reused for industrial purposes? The answer to all these questions is yes, we do. In most parts of the world, there's a huge grid loss.
In some places, up to 70% of water is lost due to poor pipe networks. Is there a solution that can significantly reduce, even eliminate grid loss? Yes, there is. In many countries, groundwater resources are used much more than what nature can replenish. Do we have a solution to measure and monitor water extraction, consumption and recharge and thereby protect ourselves from such future disasters as the depletion of wells or the inability to farm? Yes, we do. Most of humanity lives in shared water catchment areas. This has been a source of many conflicts in the past and could be in the future. Are there good examples using the water of a river in a way that benefits both upstream and downstream countries? Yes, there are. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the knowledge, we have the experience. We also have much of the technology required to solve the various problems. I am convinced that the necessary resources for development can be found and that bad regulations can be changed. And the political will to change them seems to be there. What is missing? Time, which we know is our most important non-renewable resource. It might be worth considering the words of Chinese-born American writer Ken Liu. It is not how long we have that matters, but what we do with the same time we have. I wish all participants a successful meeting. شكرا على هذه الكلمة لفخامة السيد الرئيس أدريانوش رئيس جمهورية المجر